All right, what's up guys? Um, first off, I want to apologize for the wind noise in the last couple of videos. Uh, my GoPro is overheating when I'm shooting 4K60 for more than like three or four minutes. Uh, on the drone stuff, never had a problem because I'm flying at 60 miles an hour and my videos are only three minutes long. But when I'm standing out here talking and flying and it's like 75, 80 degrees with the sun hitting me in Texas, the GoPro with the little foam wind slayer on there is just getting nuked. So uh, it's cooled down. It's probably like 55 degrees right now or 50. Um, so I got the wind slayer back on. And uh, what I'm gonna try and do is teach myself how to float fly. I've never flown floats before. Um, I got the Timber, the Super Cub PA-18 by FMS. I've got floats for both of those. I think the Timber is gonna be my learner float plane. And then I also just ordered the set of floats for the uh, two meter FMS Beaver that I have, um, which is ultimately gonna be a dedicated float plane because you know, the beaver is meant to be on floats. So um, today I've got my old UMX Timber Evo that uh, I crashed a million times. That's why I learned to fly on. And I took the motor out of uh, one of the 3S pits that I had. I had a spare one that I crashed when I first started flying and um, ripped the motor out. From what I can tell, the UMX Evo has the same ESC a lot of people say it's a 3 amp, some people say it's a 5 amp, but I figure what the hell. I soldered up a JST connector through the uh, motor in, which, you know, has the bi-blade prop. And, um, yeah, I did some static testing, full throttle, wide open. I didn't get any surging, I didn't get any power cuts, so I think it's going to work. Um, it's kind of windy out here today, so I don't know. I mean, it's almost like taking off just with me holding it. I uh, probably won't try and land on the water. I'm just going to hand launch it. But basically, I want to see if this works and if this will be a good kind of tool for me to practice water landings and takeoffs and then move up to the full-size Timber Evo and then the Beaver once I get the floats in. So I'm going to give it a shot here. We're just going to hand launch it and see how this does. But if anybody's got one of these lying around, you can just buy the replacement motor from either the UMX Timber X or the UMX Pits, the 3S version, and it, it plugs right in, same motor mounts. I did have to reverse one of the three wires for the brushless lead uh, to get to spin the right direction because you really can't take the prop off. So other than that though, it was pretty straightforward. Let's see. Hey, I didn't know if it was going to initialize because it's so freaking windy. All right. So I do have the Spectrum uh, little 3S. I think it's a 300 milliamp from... Oh, boy. Come on. Okay. All right. Holy crap. I don't know if this is even going to fly. It's so windy. <laughs> this might be like the worst idea ever. It, you know... So at my house, it's always less windy than it is here. But like today is a drastic difference. I've got on my phone the wind for the Air Force Base that's right down the road. So usually that's what I look at before I come out and fly. And it said it was pretty calm, but I, you know, I don't think I'm buying that. Uh, let's see. Rudder works, ailerons, uh, flaps works i don't know how well um yeah i don't know this might be a bad idea it's kind of flimsy anyway you know uh <laughs> oh boy here we go i think i might be rubbing a little bit i don't know all right let's do it three s power baby on the umx evo <laughs> oh, this is stupid. Holy cow, look at it catch the wind. I mean, it works. Proof of concept is really kind of what I was looking for here. I wasn't expecting, you know, the moon. Uh, I don't know, it's so windy, I don't even know why I would even bother trimming it. <laughs> wow. 
you can hear it kind of I don't know like when I give it a full throttle I think the canopy is actually rubbing slightly too but it I, that's full throttle okay so if it was gonna blow up I feel like that would have done it I mean we're at sustained <laughs> this is so stupid this is just wide open the whole time okay yeah there's no way it's ever gonna blow up <laughs> i don't know how long that was i'm gonna have to go back and look at the timer but that was crazy um, okay, let's see. Safe mode. Safe mode still works. S3X mode. What happens if I drop flaps? Landing flaps? Oh my god, I can just, I wonder if I could fly backwards to me. Let's try. I think I'm, I think it's coming back. I got full flaps right now, into the wind. Uh, the main reason I kind of didn't want to try this just, um, <laughs> the wind on the uh, UMX Timber X is one, I still fly it. So if I crash it into the water, that would suck. Uh, number two, this one's got flaps and a bigger wing and it's just a little more docile. Um, so I kind of wanted that on my first water experience. Uh, let's see. Let's go to high rates. Ah, there we go. I thought I was in high rates, but I guess I wasn't. I wonder if I could like flat spin it. Uh, let's see, medium rates. I have no idea what my rates are on this, honestly. I haven't flown it, uh, I don't even know, in a long time. <laughs> okay, the wind has got me. I gotta get back over here. Holy shit. I'm not even gonna try and fly upside down or anything ridiculous, because it's this is barely airworthy. <laughs> But I mean, it does work. Okay, maybe I will try to fly upside down, I lied. You know, this actually flies, when I learned to fly on this, I thought, okay, you know, everybody complained about 2S power, I don't know why. And then I got into trouble a few times and I did not have the muscle to get out of it. Um, Mid rates, high rates. so Mid then rates, I got the 3S pits and the 3S Timber X, UMX Timber X, and I was like, okay, yeah, I can't go back to 2S. Um, so I don't know, I'm really happy that this worked out and that I'm able to, uh, to fly it on 3S as a float trainer, obviously when it's not, holy mother of God, windy, uh, yeah, this is... This little crazy here. <laughs> but it, I mean, it cuts through the wind. Like, here, let's do that again. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna come back full power into the wind. I mean, that's fast compared to what it was on 2S. Man, I don't know. This might have brought new life into this thing if I don't put it into the trees. Let's see if we can get some hovering like right near me. Take off flaps. All right, take off flaps. Landing, Landing flaps. flaps. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I 
wonder if I could just bring it back to me and go pick it out of the air. You know what? I think I'm just gonna land it like this. <laughs> that is so silly. I don't even know how long that's been. That's been a while. I wonder if this has telemetry. I honestly don't even know. Uh, let's see. 11 volts. So I'm still at 3.7. That's after, uh, let's see, throttle cut is on. That was four minutes, but I would say probably a minute and a half of that was at full throttle. <sighs> Holy God, my hands are flipping freezing. I think I cracked the canopy when it was in my pocket. I'm gonna have to glue that. I really, honestly, I didn't expect this to work. And I wish it wasn't windy because I would love to go put it there in the lake and try and fly it. But it's so windy, like not only would it probably not be survivable, I doubt that it would be enjoyable. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have a UMX Timber Evo that you were just going to chuck, uh, maybe consider putting it on floats. Definitely consider getting a uh, cheap 3S Pits or UMX Timber X motor from Horizon and just soldering that up because man, that is a night and day difference between how this thing flies on 2S and how it flew just then on 3S. Um, that was pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, and mine also has like probably, I don't know, the plane's weight and glue and tape from all the times that I've crashed it. It's got packing tape and foam glue and yeah, and that thing flew amazing. And we're at, let's see what the wind really is here. I did get batteries for my anonymeter. Okay, so we are, we're at showing eight right now, 8.7. So I'd say we're probably between eight and 10 miles an hour with gusts to maybe 13 to 15. And it was handling it like a champ. Uh, I'm really kind of shocked right now. I don't even know what to say. So um, yeah. Looking forward to uh, getting this and the timber out uh, on the floats probably this week. Um, yeah, and I will definitely post those videos. So thanks for checking this out and coming along on my experiment. I'm going to put this back in the car before it blows to another county. And yeah, going to drop that. All right, guys, uh, I will catch you on the next one.